Russian President Vladimir Putin has made his first remarks about the Ukrainian army's attack on Russia's Kursk region, describing the assault as a large-scale provocation. Putin made the remarks one day after the attack, during the Wednesday meeting with the heads of security agencies, the Defense Ministry, the General Staff and the Federal Security Service FSB. Addressing the meeting, Putin accused Ukraine of firing indiscriminately from various types of weapons, including missiles, at civilian buildings, residential buildings and ambulances. Immediately after our meeting, I will have a meeting with the heads of law enforcement agencies, the Ministry of Defense, the General Staff, the FSB and I will hear another report from my colleagues on what is happening in the Kursk region," he stated. The Russian leader added that he has given instructions to the acting governor of the Kursk region, Alexei Smirnov, to provide the necessary assistance to the region's residents. Earlier, Putin appointed First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mancharov to supervise this work. Russian Defense Ministry on Tuesday stated that up to 300 Ukrainian troops, including 11 tanks and more than 20 armored combat vehicles, attacked its Kursk region. According to the Russian Health Ministry, 24 people were injured, including six children. Ukrainian military officials say Russian occupiers in eastern Ukraine are avoiding head-on combat with Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, even as they say they are fighting depleted Kiev forces. Newsweek reports, the Russians know what a Bradley is. They don't want to meet this machine head-on. I probably wouldn't want to either, if I were in their place said the commander of the Ukrainian armored vehicles on the Christmas, a soldier from the 47th Mechanized Brigade. Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade was deep in the fighting in eastern Ukraine. The brigade was the only known operator of Bradley Infantry fighting vehicles as well as American M1 Abrams main battle tanks. According to Pentagon documents, the U.S. has sent more than 300 Bradleys to Ukraine, as well as four support vehicles. In January 2024, the commander of the 47th Mechanized Brigade told Newsweek that Russian soldiers were afraid to launch operations when they know they're going to be facing Bradleys. Armored vehicles and tanks on both sides are wary of artillery fire from the other side. They must also keep a close eye on drone strikes. FPV drones can damage parts of a tank, including immobilizing the vehicle. Russian artillery is always working to find the Bradley, the military says. But the main problem is the kamikaze drones. There are more and more of them, and the enemy is very dynamically developing this area, the brigade noted. Currently, the fighters of the 47th Brigade are stationed west of Avdiivka. Fatigue is what you can see on the faces of our soldiers, the brigade noted. Russia has been slowly but steadily gaining territory in eastern Ukraine since the beginning of the year, claiming Avdiivka in February 2024 and moving west in the following months. Moscow's forces have inched closer to the strategic defense town of Pokrovsk, and Ukraine has repeatedly reported heavy clashes along that section of the front line. Russia opened a new front in northeastern Ukraine in the Kharkiv region in early May, and Ukraine said the new offensive was aimed at straining Kyiv's resources in the east. On Sunday, the Russian Defense Ministry said its forces had captured Novoselovka Pervaya, a village west of Avdiivka and southeast of Pokrovsk. Орки вот они учатся, как делать не надо, и делают вот именно так. Сбились в кучу потеряшки. Вот им туда тут же прилетел сюрприз. Вот они начали суетиться, разбегаться, сообразили, что делают что-то не так. Или, может, просто испугались, но не сообразили. Тело решило сдаться. Ему везет, будет жить. Скинул рюкзачок, броник. Вот. вот приличный человек решил сдаться. Если повезет, будет служить в РДК. Вот еще один, походу, решил присоединиться пассажир. Второй решил сдаться. Еще один раздевается. Это к вопросу русские не сдаются. Сдаются сегодня уже там за десяток.
При этом отметим, что благородно, в отличие от них, их никто не расстрелял. Стряпки их валяются, автоматы, оружие покидали и сдаются. Не осуждаю, чем воевать за Путина, лучше сдаться Украине. Да, Скобею бы стоило это посмотреть. Она любит громкие лозунги, но дураков есть, конечно, вражки. Сложно перевести, но сдаются. И вот еще два тела тоже решили последовать примеру товарища, остаться в живых. Ну вот еще два сдаются, и того пять принявших. Вот наш боец. Ох, блядь, а я хоть душа Ахмата.